What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Bastion build for you guys here on the channel. This one I am calling the Flame Doctor. Basically just because he is a Dragon Knight healer. And that's what we're going to be tackling here in this video. I gotta say this build is pretty for uh pretty formidable. I didn't realize that it was actually going to be a pretty good build until I started playing with him and soloing world bosses and things like that and he was actually maintaining my health up quite well without me even having to deal with self-healing which was pretty fantastic to say the least. So I want to jump into this guys before I do though do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you are already not subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's jump right into this first things first we're gonna start off with the skills as we always do is the first one on the slot is rejuvenation Rejuvenation is a fantastic skill. I really really thoroughly like this one especially for a healer build, right? Basically what the tooltip says is Bastion Halix uh, shares their staff's life-giving energy healing themselves and a nearby ally for 9,960 health over 8 seconds. The cooldown for this specific build is 10.4 seconds which is fantastic if I may say so myself just because there's only 2 seconds of overlap between the duration of the 8 seconds of the heal itself and the cooldown so you'll see him using this quite often but the good thing about this skill is that not only does he heal you with this skill but he also heals himself uh, both for almost 10,000 health fantastic skill guys I really thoroughly enjoy this one on the bar Basalt Barrier this one is a little odd uh, to put on the uh, on the actual skill bar it seems like more of a tanking uh, skill until you read the tooltip itself and then you realize why it's on the bar. Bastion Halix calls the earth to their defense granting a damage shield for them and nearby allies that absorbs 4350 damage over 6 seconds. That part helps with your survivability but it isn't the most important part about this. The second part about this is really the bread and butter. The damage shield is important but not as important as the second half. The second half says while the damage shield holds, healing received is increased by 15%. So while the damage shield is active, it also increases your healing by an additional 15%. Fantastic overall. I highly recommend this because it really just boosts the potency of Bastion's heals. Moving on. Mystic Fortress. Bastion Halix calls on their staff's strength to protect themselves or the lowest health ally around them, granting a damage shield that absorbs 26,100 damage. Plain and simple, it's a very powerful damage shield for anybody that's low health. It's it's kind of like in, uh, for lack of better words, like an oh shit uh, type of damage shield if you're really low on health and he really needs to give you something to give you that umph while he works his way on healing you, this damage shield is going to come in clutch 100%. It is one of those types of situations uh, where if you're in desperate need of something to save you, this is where it comes in. Very important for when you are very low le uh, health as it says right here used when bastion halix or an ally is below 25 percent health so it's very circumstantial but when you need it it is 100 percent beneficial kindle bastion halix launches a searing fireball at themselves or an ally to carterize their wounds healing for 9960 health Use when Bastion or an ally is below 75% health. This plain and simple is just a very rapid heal that uh, a very fast turnaround heal that he can just keep on throwing at you at any given moment since the cooldown is only at 7 seconds with this specific build. And healing up to uh, uh, close to two, cl uh, close to 10,000 uh, health, it ends up being a pretty fantastic skill all the way around. I had so much trouble saying that for some reason, but whatever. We'll move on. We'll move on. 100% recommended to put Kindle on the bar. 
Reverse entropy, uh, entropy, uh, entrop this word. Bastion Halix envelops an ally with sta uh, stabilizing magic, healing them for 14,935 health over 8 seconds. So basically, this is just a heal for an ally, right? He doesn't do anything for himself on this one. Not like he needs it anyways. He has, you know, Kindle, Mystic Fortress, Basalt Barrier, and Rejuvenation that all helps him in his healing department. So it's nice to have one that's 100% focused on an ally. And that's where this skill comes in because he is able to give you a very massive burst heal of 14,935 health over 8 seconds. It's not a burst heal, but it's a, a, heal, uh, a heal over time, excuse me. Very good heal. In my opinion. In terms of your ultimate, it's not going to be used that often because as a healer, uh, he has a staff, which for the most part, he is a ranged uh, companion. So the, the, the ultimate isn't as used as much as you would hope, but it's good to have just in case he does need it. Unleashed Rage. Bastion Halix uh, builds up rage, then unleashes it in a devastating... Uh, devastating explosion around him. The explosion deals 13,442 flame damage to enemies and stuns them for four seconds while also releasing four lines of fire in a cross formation that deals an additional 3,360 flame damage to any enemy hit. So basically this is just a big explosion of fire damage but not only that does it do that 13,442 upfront damage but it also stuns everybody who's hit by that explosion additionally it also spews out four lines of fire which does an additional 3,360 so it's a pretty great uh skill or ultimate when you're up close and personal but again since he's a ranged character uh or build he won't be using this as much as you would want him to. Not like you really need him to anyways because his primary focus is to heal, not to do damage. So, something to take into consideration. Moving on to the skills on the other hand. I like to emulate my companions in the same way that I build my own characters. Basically what I mean by that is whenever you com uh, complete your own build, you generally have two sets of five and a two-piece monster set not counting mythics or anything because they're not really applicable here so taking to that uh, taking that into consideration i like to emulate that in my companion builds as well having two five-piece sets and a two-piece monster set uh quote unquote so starting off with the head and shoulders we have soothing healing uh increases healing done by 1.7 percent for each individual item slotted or equipped it and in this case we have the head and shoulders so that ends up being a little bit of extra boost but it's actually so important that actually the first five piece set is also soothing because uh we are going to be maximized the uh, we're going to be maximizing the exact uh amount of healing that he can out uh, uh, output at any given time because again each individual item increases about 1.7 and having the entire body piece, that's seven, seven times that. It's a very powerful healing that he is able to do. So something to take into consideration, though, is... Or not even to take into consideration that uh, to have is all in light. Because that does increase your healing uh, done, right? So this is very important, guys. For the last and final five-piece set, we're going to be having the Quickened. Uh, reduces the ability cooldowns by 2.6% for each individual item slotted. Uh, that's mainly for the jewelry because the weapon is considered a two-piece. So because of that, it does 5.2 instead of that 2.6. Effectively just doubles the effectiveness of the quickened trait. So... We have a two-piece soothing, five-piece soothing, and a five-piece quickened. And you'll see it ends up being quite effective. Let's go over to the house and check out Bastion's style. In terms of style, he is wearing a crown shop item that I believe... Don't quote me on this, but I think you can get it off of uh, crown crates as well. But it is the Battle Mage Scout Captain's uniform. Uh, I think it's a great looking outfit 
I couldn't really figure out good dice to put on, and I think I settled with something that's decent, but I don't know. I... I don't know how I feel about the look, to be honest, but hey, whatever, man, teach his own. If you like it, you like it. I think it's okay. In terms of dyes, I have Cyrodiilic Steel, Master Gold, and Blood Gold. Well, that does it for the style, guys. Let's go over and check out a world boss. Alright guys, as you guys saw, Bastion maintained my health very well. I didn't go through the entire boss mainly because I, I think the point was, uh, it kind of went across just fine uh, in everything. So I just kind of decided to just cut it halfway through and call it a day. Since I am a tank and I don't really do a lot of damage and Bastion's a healer, it doesn't do a lot of damage. So we were very low in the damage department so I decided to just cut it short. But... Nonetheless, the point got across. Bastion did a great job healing, and I think that's really all that matters. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.